for a new generation of leadership in America. And I am ready to offer that leadership as the next President of the United States of America. So look, in less than 90 days, it's either going to be him or me sitting in the Oval Office. in the Oval Office, and if he is elected, Donald Trump on day one would be sitting in that office stewing over his enemies list. But when I am elected, I will walk in on your behalf working on my to-do list. I focus every single day as president. I will give a middle class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. I will enact the first ever federal ban on corporate price gouging on groceries. Fight to make sure that hardworking Americans can actually afford a place to live. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. This is what democracy looks like. <laughs> Experiences. When my mother was my, when my mother was sick, I took care of her. Donald Trump is not done. He would ban abortion nationwide. He would restrict access to birth control. He would put IVF treatments at risk and, get this, force states to monitor women's pregnancies. Just Google Project 2025, which still I can't believe they put in writing. And I think everyone here knows one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government shouldn't be telling her what to do. Not the government and not Donald Trump. And the right of people. Because you see, unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe that people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I will give them a seat at the table. That's what real leadership looks like. That's what strong leadership looks like.